Miss Karen, all good?
Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your trip. Mister. Look out! Who the hell are you? You just bored? You want to make an enemy? Step up. Don't be shy, pal. All right, then. Better be good. Mmm. Not bad, this. What do you have for me?
Done deal. Thank you. Really. Welcome. All right, here. Careful, big man. Move it. Waltzing through here like you are. Hey, move it! Got some beating this horse ride. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. This horse is one of the finest you can get. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Hey, it costs more for a reason. That's a good choice. Better the saddle, better the ride. 
Always good to have one of those. I got one of them myself. Always good to have one of those. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. That's a nice addition on a saddle. I got one of them myself. Nice to give a little special grooming. Folks come from all over for our services. Yeah, grooming a horse sure makes it a beauty. Fine grooming always sets off a horse. And that's a good looking horse now. That'll make your horse happy. yourself yep first time in Smithfields you know the same no brawling this time all right back again I see you hear about that ruckus over at the hotel someone brought some new girls into town caused quite a stir
don't see that fellow in the hangar the other day. Don't you tell me I'm not. Yep. Welcome back, sir. Got everything you need. Have a look. Now, let's have a look. That's mighty popular these days. Taking a shine to that, huh? I sell out of that pretty fast. Those go pretty fast. I sell out of that pretty fast. Those go pretty fast. My pa got killed in this here store when I was a boy. That's done. I sell out of that pretty fast. Seem a bit taken with that. You like that? Seem to have your eye on that. You like the look of that one, huh? Seem a bit taken with that. Those go pretty fast. I sell out of that pretty fast.
Taking a shine to that, huh? Those go pretty fast. You like that? That's mighty popular these days. Those go pretty fast. I sell out of that pretty fast. You like the look of that one, huh? Seem a bit taken with that. You like that? Taking a shine to that, huh? That's mighty popular these days. It's all yours. You like the look of that one, huh? Keep looking. Let me know if there's anything else. Thank you for your help. New marksman in town. Welcome. Well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Thanks, mister. Hello. Come on. Good weather for making hay. 
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the... Nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. That's girl.
to the wilderness. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Da -da -da. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy! Goddamn lunatic! Get off him! <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! A kid, come on! This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Sister's worried about you. I'll have to answer to you. Sorry. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. This is none of your damn business.
talking about before. Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't wanna live anymore! Kid, just... Calm down. Leave me alone! I 
warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and, what was his name, H Hester? Jose, yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Careful there. How's everything going? Certainly been worse. <laughs> Make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... 
Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Get a drink. I'm parched. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in '76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Are you keeping? Hey, read about the home for the uh, Leviticus howdy. Cornwall train robbers. Evening.
Think I'm interested in whatever your problem is? Yeah. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. 